far as big as bars, they got rivers of gold But the wind goes right through you, no place for the old When you first took my hand on a cold Christmas Eve You they had a special guest watching the game uh, in the Travis Kelsey suite, which, by the way, could not have been up to the fire code. There were way too many people in that suite. First of all, Jason, don't be, don't do that. All right. Our suite is regulated and safe. Okay. She looked amazing. Everybody was talking about her in, a, in great light. You need to let go of your Joe so you can find your Travis. We are done rushing to the car right after dinner, heading ourselves to the park. Instead, we are waving to our fans and running to our man. In this video, I'm gonna break down the complete relationship timeline of Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, the hottest new couple in Hollywood. That's right, the pop superstar and the NFL star have been dating for a few months now and fans are going crazy over their adorable romance. So how did it all start and end? What's the status of their relationship now? Let's find out now. But I wanted to give Taylor Swift one with my number on it, not right now. Your number's in 87 or your phone number? You know which one. <laughs> Taylor Swift is known for her catchy songs, her amazing performances, and her long list of ex-boyfriends. She has dated some of the most famous and handsome men in the world, such as Harry Styles, Tom Hiddleston, Calvin Harris, Joe Jonas, Jake Gyllenhaal, and John Mayer. She has also written songs about her breakups, her heartaches, and her revenge. Travis Kelsey is one of the best tight ends in the NFL. He is also known for his charismatic personality and his flashy style. He has dated some of the most beautiful and talented women in the world, such as Kayla Nicole, Maya Benberry, and Veronica Harwood. So how did these two very different celebrities end up together? The first time Taylor and Travis crossed paths was at Taylor's Eras Tour. Stop in Kansas City, Missouri on July 8th, 2023. Travis, who plays for the Kansas City Chiefs, was one of the many celebrities who attended the sold out show at the Arrowhead Stadium. But it wasn't until later that month that Travis revealed his crush on Taylor on his podcast, New Heights, with his brother Jason, who also plays in the NFL. Travis said that he was disappointed that he didn't get to meet Taylor backstage because he had made a friendship bracelet for her with his phone number on it. Speaking of Taylor Swift, I know you went to the Taylor Swift concert. How was it? Yeah, well, I was disappointed that she doesn't talk before or after her shows because she has to save her voice for the 44 songs that she sings so i was a little butthurt i didn't get to hand her one of the bracelets i made for her you made her a bracelet yeah if you're up on uh, taylor swift concerts there are friendship bracelets and i received a bunch of them being there but i wanted to give taylor swift one with my number on it not right now your number is in 87 or your phone number you know which one <laughs> She doesn't meet anybody, or at least she didn't want to meet me, so I took it personal. She probably just hasn't gotten over the Super Bowl yet. She's a big Eagles fan. Maybe she just made something up and just didn't want to talk to you. Damn it. He said he wanted to give it to her as a reference to her song, You're On Your Own, Kid, where she sings. So make the friendship bracelets, take the moment, and taste it. He also joked that Taylor didn't want to meet him and that he took it personally. Of course, this confession went viral on social media, and fan started shipping Taylor and Travis hard. They even came up with a cute couple name for them, Tavis. But did Taylor hear about Travis's crush? And did she feel the same way? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Fast forward to September 2023, and things started to heat up between Taylor and Travis. On September 8th, Taylor was spotted in New York City wearing a necklace with an opal pendant, which fans quickly noticed was Travis's birthstone. Was this a subtle hint that she was dating him, or was it just a coincidence? Well, it turned out to be more than a coincidence because just a few days later on September 12th, Taylor and Travis were seen together for the first time in public. They were photographed leaving a restaurant in Manhattan, holding hands and smiling. They looked very happy and comfortable with each other, and they even matched their outfits in black and white. How adorable. So, but that wasn't the only date they had that week. On September 14th, Taylor and Travis flew to Nashville, where Taylor has a home and spent some quality time together. They were seen shopping at a local mall and later that night they attended a private screening of the movie The Last Duel set a theater. So, but the most romantic date of all was on September 24th when Taylor surprised Travis by showing up at his football game in Kansas City. She sat in the family suite with Travis's mom Donna and cheered him on as he scored a touchdown. 
She also wore a Chiefs jersey with his number 87 on it and a red hat with his name on it. She looked so proud and supportive of him and he looked so happy to see her. They even shared a sweet kiss on the field after the game, which was captured by the cameras and broadcasted to millions of viewers. It was official, Taylor and Travis were a couple and they weren't afraid to show it. They have also been spending a lot of time with each other's friends and families. They have also been very supportive of each other's careers. Taylor has been attending Travis's games regularly and Travis has been promoting Taylor's music on his social media. He even posted a video of him dancing to her song Mastermind. On TikTok, which went viral and got over 10 million views, Taylor and Travis have also been very open about their relationship in interviews. Taylor broke her silence on their romance in her Time Magazine cover story, where she clarified their timeline and said that they had been dating for a while before going public. She says, we met at my show in Kansas City and we hit it off right away. We kept in touch and started dating secretly. No one knew. We would never be psychotic enough to hard launch a first date. By the time I went to that first game, we were a couple and we've been very happy ever since. Travis also gushed about Taylor in his podcast where he said that she was the best thing that ever happened to him. He said she's amazing. She's smart. She's talented. She's beautiful. She's funny. She's kind. She's everything. She makes me a better person and I make her laugh. We have so much in common and we have so much fun together. She's my best friend and I love her more than anything. So what's next for Taylor and Travis? Well, according to some sources, they are planning to get engaged soon, maybe even start a family. They are reportedly looking for a house together in Los Angeles where they can settle down and have some privacy. They're also working on some projects together, such as a duet song and a documentary about their relationship. They are very excited about their future. According to insiders, Travis is very serious about his relationship. He said that he is in love with Taylor and that he wants to spend the rest of his life with her. He also said that he wants to have kids with her and that he thinks she would be an amazing mother. He said that he admires her as a person, as an artist, and as a businesswoman, and that he is proud to be her partner. He said that he is ready to propose to her anytime. He said that he hopes to marry her in 2024 and that he wants to have a big wedding with their families and friends. Taylor, on the other hand, has been more coy about her relationship with Travis. She has not confirmed or denied his statements, but she has hinted at her feelings for him in her songs and interviews. She said that he makes her happy and that he is very supportive and respectful of her. She said that he is funny, smart, and handsome. And that's the complete relationship timeline of Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, the hottest new couple in Hollywood. What do you think of them? Do you ship them? Do you think they will last? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. We finally know the real story of how Taylor and Travis started dating. Are you ready for it? When Travis went to his first Eras Tour concert in early July to give Taylor a friendship bracelet, as we know, she never got it. 